Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through Amazon Open Search service, how to set up Amazon Open Search service, and how to set up your Kibana or dashboard with using AWS. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So uh, it just uh, uh, you have to have AWS account available before proceeding. And when I am user, uh, don't worry if you don't have it, uh, we'll start from scratch so instead of uh, doing manual configuration using docker you can do this thing okay so you'll get the link of uh, kibana dashboard and uh, what you can do you just need to create a new uh, domain from here so you need to search for open search uh, for elastic search you can uh, uh, search for open search okay simply uh, click here i already have it okay uh, i already open it here so i uh, just click here on create new domain you can name it which is a domain name okay so uh, which can be anything okay let me use my uh, my name after that um, you can choose a custom endpoint for your domain like uh, something.com okay uh, so uh, here you can use custom domain you can name it whatever it may be okay you can provide the aws certificate as well here but it will stick to the normal endpoint okay after that there there are deployment types that you can specify over here okay for the custom you can choose custom thing development and testing and production ready thing over here okay where you can choose uh, the elastic search version the latest is 7.10 or you can choose this open search with uh, comes with uh, kibana uh, by default so you can choose this thing open search 1.1 after that compatibility mode so you can choose this thing if you want okay this will uh, stick to, to the default uh, configuration okay so compatibility mode sets the open search uh, to kind of uh, report its version 7.10 as uh, written over here you can see okay so you can click here to learn this thing uh, if you if you are not aware about this compatibility mode but for now we'll stick to the kind of basic things only so after that here auto tune is uh, also you can uh, it is enabled by default okay uh, it will automatically make changes according to uh, downtime okay so you can disable it as well uh, it's all your choice okay maintenance window that uh, you can choose okay like uh, but uh, for the uh, saving the cost you can what you can do is you can skip this thing okay so uh, on uh, every week or you can define the custom time it will uh, like uh, you can do this thing if you want okay for now uh, i don't need this thing okay maintenance window after that uh, here as well this uh, according to your choice size uh, you it will take an instance type okay so generally i'm this is just for testing so what i'll do i'll select the lowest uh, uh, which is t3 small search will be better for me okay uh, which will be available for two nodes or uh, two nodes okay so here what we can do is our uh, storage type is of course ebs okay uh, so here ssd type is by default you can at minimum 10 gb storage you need to provide so 10 into 2 will be 20 ssd storage it will take okay so uh, uh, here as well i'm gonna choose the t3 small search here as well you can choose three or five master nodes it's all your choice after that here you can provide the vpc uh kind of uh, like uh, which is recommended but uh, we'll stick to the public access for now after that uh, you need to provide the uh, fine grained access control uh, where you can provide the i am user or uh, arn id over here or you can create a custom uh, username over here okay so it's also all your choice okay so uh, if if you wanna uh, use this thing you just need to open your i am user dashboard simply search for i am select users so here and it will open this thing where what you can do is uh, uh, you can grab your uh, uh, id here an id okay and you can paste this over here or what you can do uh, we will edit this later as well i'm gonna show you both the things okay after that once you do that you can choose these three things okay where uh, you can allow open access to the domain which is fine okay you can choose this do not uh, provide this domain level access policy okay so it's all your choice okay or uh, i am user wise so i uh, will stick to the 
we will edit edit this later as well no worries after that here you can if you are aware about this kms key okay that you can create for your own encryption otherwise uh, aws on key will be better okay it will manage automatically so uh, the only changes that i have made i have uh, selected this thing i have selected this arn uh so we can if you are working on node python so it will be better to uh, get connected with the help of this i am user according to group policies already you have selected okay and here i am using this public apart from that uh, t3 small to save the cost and because this is for testing purpose only so this is it this is all we have to do okay custom endpoint of course as i told you you can provide your custom domain name here but uh, we'll stick to the normal thing okay so after that once you hit here on create it will take a while to create uh, this thing uh, around 10 to 15 minutes it will take if you go here in domains you can see the status over here so uh, mahesh i have just created it it was the old one it's getting deleted uh, so it will take a while it's still taking time around 15 minutes it will take to uh, delete and 15 minutes it will take to uh, uh what we can say uh, to load to get activated okay after that only we can go with uh, the dashboard of kibana and i'm gonna take you through that so for now what uh, we can do is i'm gonna pause this video we'll uh, resume the video once uh, this is activated uh, it it's 9 23 already okay it's uh it's gonna take time so we'll, uh, we'll uh, see how how much time it will take so okay uh it is still taking time i guess it will take a while again so what we can do let me pause again uh, so yeah this is done this is working fine okay so now you, once you see this status over here active okay so it means it's running perfectly fine the total free space we have is 7.72 .7 gigs okay and uh, the minimum free space uh, that we have 7.72 7 again so yeah this is it i guess just click here on uh, your domain and go inside that so you will get these two links over here now what we have to do is we just need to click here on uh, dashboard okay so uh, it will open the dashboard over here so for that we need id and password so we don't have it already so we haven't created id password yet so for that once uh you can do what we can do is you can uh, click here or, or go here in security configuration here this is your access policy and we need id and password that we don't have uh, so for that you just need to click here on add it once you click here you can see here a master user option is here just uh, name it whatever it may be and enter your password okay uh, the kind of uh, strong password so let me insert kind of strong password which is this something okay and here again you can mo uh, manipulate this thing okay like uh, all the things here that you can change here as well let me try this one first okay hopefully it will work and let me try oh mahesh with my current password and hopefully it should work and uh, here we go this is your uh, dashboard kibana dashboard okay so here you have uh, two options you can globally uh shared between every open search dashboard whatever the data you want to create uh, you want to uh, work with okay or you can start with the private uh tenant uh, which is okay uh, so we'll first try this one and we'll see that later okay so confirm this thing and after that there are few sample examples available so start with adding your data so you can click here on explore on my own or you can uh, we'll just go with that add data so here are few sample data available okay so you just need to click here it will automatically import things and it will uh, create the data automatically for you guys so what you can do you can uh, add all the data okay uh, for uh, uh, different uh, dashboards okay once you add this data you will get this view data option okay once you click on that you will see this nice and uh, very beautiful dashboard over here 
uh, for that uh, kibana is famous for okay and you can explore the things like this okay and this is how it works okay so see how how beautiful this is and you can explore the multiple things over here but for now we'll stick to the uh, basic things okay for getting started you need you can choose uh, multiple things from here visualize a uh, query workbench uh, where we spend most of the time okay and let me see all the tables that we have and the new tables that we just created by importing uh, the data which is this sample data e-commerce so let me uh, hit the normal query which is select start from uh the table name okay hopefully it will work it will uh show the data uh that we have imported over here i mean so click here you can see uh products event and uh, this thing okay so you can download this thing as well okay from uh, you can export this thing according to your choice okay so yeah this is it after that you can uh explore the multiple things over here we have a notebook option where you can create a notebooks you can create a report pd in pd format you can uh, create a triggers here uh, okay then there are lots of things uh, uh, that you can go to dev tools as well and lots of other things okay so yeah this is it this is all we need to know for getting started with aws open search for the very first time okay and let me show you a few other things if you are if you want to use uh, you can search for aws open search node.js for python for lots of other things okay so you can search like that you can use this library and you can uh, get started with connecting with your local uh, thing so make sure to uh, get connected with your im user you have to have one aws cli so through that you can uh, configure aws cli locally and then only you will be able to uh, do for the things so yeah this is it for this tutorial guys so uh, i'm gonna create more uh, useful videos uh, in um, in a while okay so uh, for open search and how to get connected with node.js python and other languages so yeah uh, thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here and please let me know in comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and uh, if you enjoyed then please like that uh, smash that like button and thank you so much have a great day bye bye so let me quickly stop this.